I'm going to cover euro pounds and I will also cover the dollar pairs but maybe in a separate video and I'll have a look at Bitcoin too which I think in the near term is bearish. Okay but with euro pound this is the pair of greatest interest for me at the moment. We've had a five wave advance from July 2015 through to when was it? August 2017. So this advance for over two years has completed up into here. And the decline through September has set up a new bearish trend, which I think will run for the next 15 months or so all the way through Brexit. So there will be the appearance of a strengthened strengthening pound throughout the next until March 19, basically. So it's at the, at the moment above trend. However, the five wave decline from September through October <coughs> has given us something to work with. And the decline overall, it's clearer on the four hour. This is what I'm working with. We have a three wave corrective advance here, which I'm at the moment favoring to be the entirety of wave two, given that each downward move so far is being heavily sold into with multiple signals and um, strong down moves that followed. So I'm viewing this at the moment as a leading diagonal, possibly within another leading diagonal, and I'm expecting to see a small correction over the first day or two of next week. And at the moment, I'm favoring a down move and a series of continued down moves into November. It's certainly set up for that on the larger time frames. If you look at the monthly, with the five wave advance in, I'm expecting this to close and to roll over next month. Now, I just want to put in one word of warning on this because although it's at that stage where a further correction could unfold. I'll explain this on the four hour. I'm not gonna go into the multitude of minor variations, but so far we've had a three wave advance here. And it's clear this is also a three wave decline. The pressure on this decline is what separates it in my opinion, but I'll go over that in a moment. So two options. This could be wave two, and we could be in wave one down, wave two, and wave one of three, and see a gyration in the few days in, first few days of next week, and then a hard sell-off that follows. Alternatively, it could be an X wave, and then we have one more move up here for a bigger three-wave correction for all of this, and then a sell down. I think that at the moment with the price action, it's suggesting that that is unlikely. The likelihood at this stage is for a small correction and then a hard sell off into next week. But the option for a bigger correction is there. It's just that the price action is suggesting otherwise at the moment. So I'm favoring selling opportunities in here and any sell opportunity that emerges should be taken. There have been three this week, here and then here and here on the one hour. And uh, it's not suggesting that it's going to base out, it's just that the price framework, or rather the pattern framework is there, but the momentum in the price is suggesting that the bears are in control. So everything is set up to sell. Now if this does sell off, it will probably find a small break, a flag, and continue on down. And I will expect this to continue down for a number of weeks to see around this area. You see the price interaction on the 55 weekly EMA here running through price. It is interactive. This pair really likes the 55 EMA on multiple EMA on multiple time frames. So I would expect to see a sell-off head down to about 8,700 or so, spike through it, and then maybe find some support there. So if it does sell off in the next few days of next week, where are we? 8850. 
I look for about a 150 point move down upon the break of trend. And as you can see, this is a major trend support. I adjusted it slightly, but um, given the number of touches here, a break will be significant. And I do expect this bearish move to last some time, like I said, 15 months or so, because this took two years. And so I would expect a correction to take quite long too. Now, if it is starting wave three, we'll probably see a three wave decline a bigger correction, and then towards the second half of next year, summer next year or whenever, another move down. And then ultimately, I do think Euro pound is bullish and the Euro will strengthen, but not during Brexit. I think for the ongoing negotiations and the talks, we'll see a stronger pound. So this is my number one pair over the next couple of three weeks or so. Okay, I'll cover the pounds, I'll cover the dollar pairs in this video to put it all into one then. Now, the M move in the dollar is going to come into some resistance about 95 and change. At the moment, I do not think it could be. Okay, the, the numbers aren't really relevant, the price action is relevant, but at the moment I'm not really thinking that this is wave four. Could be, but you know, one, two, three, four, five. It's possible. I'm inclined more to think that we have five down and I would force the count and we're having some type of correction now. I'm I'm going to stay bearish on the US dollar until we see a break of 96 and a corrective bull flag, which always at some stage appears like this, for example. So uh, that being a bear flag, of course, but the equivalent in a bull market. So I'm not going to look to turn bullish on this. Now I point that out because looking at Euro US dollar, disregarding the count, I am looking at it at the moment as potentially supportive of a move higher. The price action will have to turn and support it in this area here. There is the potential for a flag here. It's a little bit smaller than I like in terms of width between lines, but it is there. What I like here on the monthly is that we're looking at the 8 EMA here. See if that can kick in to provide support. I'm looking at an area of 11550 for support into this region. 11550 one, basically this area if it can set up some support at the moment there's some divergence on the stocks but that's irrelevant without a basing candle and some force to propel it something like this for example on new zealand us dollar last summer where we had a divergent situation ultimately appear something like that. It's too early to say on Euro US dollar, but the flag is there and the 8 EMA for me is important given how you can see here it supports price all the way and it supports on the daily when it's above as well. So I'm looking to see if the monthly will kick in. So 11550, I'm looking for support in that region and a turn higher from there. So that's my view at this stage. Um, this five wave print that I put in the last video, I think it was the last video, it did turn out to work. Now the move from there is a bit awkward. I don't really know how to count this. I am inclined, just one moment. Well, that's the thing about LA wave, you can, you can Label this as a first part of a decline and then a three wave correction like this. And now the move down for three, four, and five, and then possibly terminating the decline there. But in any case, I'm going to look for some support into that region. Now, pound US dollar is a little bit similar. We are still above trend here. 
and there's not been much development on the on this pair unlike um, this does give some support to the idea that the euro is weaker than the pound or the pound is more resilient in any case and I am expecting euro pound to fall so it's making sense here that unlike the euro the pound is holding up and I'm looking at it on See, on the four hour, I still think that we can get five down here. It's a bit forced at the bottom, but uh, it's possible. Now, how that would open up here, if this is just going to be a three wave correction, maybe, and then we see a turn down. Or maybe if it just manages to turn over here and it does something like this. I, I really can't say at this moment. What I want to emphasize though is that the move from here so far has been sideways and choppy and it is suggesting some type of base is trying to be formed. If you're bearish on these pairs and you're bullish on the dollar, you have better options than cable at the moment I would say because it's riding above support the move so far has been choppy and you have to go down to lower time frames to find a trade entry on this because at this stage right here I would suggest it's not a good place to take a short it's still got that look about it like it can put in a bigger move basically A US dollar yen I might look at in a separate video. I haven't gone over it yet. Okay, back to the four hour chart on Bitcoin. I still like the idea that wave four is coming in here. Now, if, and we have another high to go up towards 7,000 or so. Now, I don't know if this is wave 4 here or if we're looking at wave 4 here for a bigger decline like this. But either way, I'm looking for this to continue to move higher. I would rather see a bigger decline, frankly, because it would set up a more divergent situation on the daily for when it does make the next turn higher. But in any case, I'm still looking for this to move higher ultimately and not to have any type of high put in here. I'm looking at any down move to be supported and to carry on up towards seven or 8,000 or so. Okay, I'll leave it there. Have a good weekend.